how's it going guys this is Devin um, and I'm going to be I guess documenting my uh, journey um, as a reseller this is kind of a new journey for me I have been getting into the uh, community of reselling and kind of have seen the potential outcome of what a good reseller can make for himself so for about the last month I've been taking in loads of information uh, from YouTube and from blogs about how to start up your resale business um, and as some of you guys might know there's loads of different avenues that, that you, you can take there's loads of different platforms and there's loads of items unlimited amount of items that you can resell right um, so I had to make a lot of this decisions of how I wanted to start and what I wanted to sell and who I wanted to sell through a lot of people know eBay as a reseller platform uh, you can even resell on like Amazon uh, Poshmark if you sell clothing Poshmark is great for a uh, clothing resellers. I personally decided to go through Mercari and if you guys haven't heard of Mercari before it's kind of like an eBay platform. You can post anything you want to resell. Um, I chose Mercari basically because it was uh, a whole lot easier. I feel like e eBay from the get-go um, it is an easy platform to, to use but I would say Mercari is 100% uh, user friendly um, Especially if you're a beginner resale like myself, uh, reseller. I have a couple items right now on eBay just to kind of test out the waters to see if I can land a sell there. Um, but for the most part, my entire inventory is listed on Mercari. With that being said, after I chose uh, Mercari as my plat platform that I like to resell on, what was I going to resell? Personally, for many years, I've had uh, a love for Funko Pops. They were just super easy to purchase, and they, you know, they show off some of the uh, figures from pop culture that you love. With that being said, I already had a enormous collection of Funko Pops, uh, so I was like, well, I kind of had to make a decision: Do I want to continue to collect, or do I want to resell? Um, because if I chose to resell my Funko Pops, I already had most of my inventory. All, all, all I have to do now is just list them. So with that being said, um, I have officially stepped away from the Funko Pop collector space and into the Funko Pop reseller space. Um, I do have a few Funko Pops that I'm going to keep for personal reasons that are just sentimental to, to me, uh, of course. But as you can see, most of these Funko Pops and I got more around here uh, are reselling or I've listed to resell. Um, I was holding off on making a video because I've heard a lot of uh, feedback from other resellers that you know the best way to get you know uh, your, your your feet off the ground and reselling is you need to have a social media presence um, it kind of help build your uh, customer base um, and if you have uh, you know uh, a supporter base from you know people that watch your videos they might be uh, like to or in tune to you know purchase stuff off of you because they can see uh, that you're trustworthy for themselves you know you're I'm kind of putting myself out here um, for everyone to, to see and uh, hopefully that will translate well for uh, people you know if they see me on YouTube or on TikTok they can uh, see that uh, this guy seems like he's a he's a legit guy I purchase stuff off of him and my package will get to me safely and soundly uh, with that being said I have decided to record the first video today not during any of the listings and all, all that stuff, because that stuff's boring, no one wants to see that stuff. I literally just got a new like on one of my items on Mercari. Anyway, um, with that being said, I chose to, to uh, record today was because uh, I made my first couple sales in the same day, guys. So I have been up for about a month now. I'm still trying to learn the ropes of Mercari. Um, and the uh, price that I should list my Funko Pops at. So with that being said, after being up for about a month now, I've definitely learned a whole a whole bunch. Um, I've learned right away that uh, in order for me to sell Funko Pops fast, I have to be super competitive. So what I've been doing is I've not only have had my inventory for my personal collection, I've went out and I've purchased other people's collections that have wanted out of the Funko Pop game. So I've went out and purchased other people's collections as a whole for a uh, markdown on the value, of course, because I feel like the more Funko Pops you buy, the more attuned people are to give you a deal on. So I, I bought one person's co collection, it was about 20 Funko Pops, um, and she was wanting them gone fast. I got the whole deal for, for $70 and I got, I think I got uh, 20 Funko Pops for, 
70 bucks. Um, at that rate, I didn't worry about price, price marking them or price checking them, uh, seeing what the sale comps were because at that point I'm, I'm making, you know, really good money. So I purchased all 20 Funko Pops for $70 and that's, um, Usually what I believe is a good price is about $5 a Funko Pop. Thank you. That leaves me enough wiggle room to post each Funko Pop for around $10. For a lot of 20 Funko Pops, for $5 each would be about $100. Um, I got the whole lot for $70. That left me plenty of room for net profit. So I listed each of the Funko Pops about $1 or $2 less than what they were retailed for, thinking that, that was a good deal. Um, come to find out with... I, I would figure because of how inflation is right, right now, everyone is prioritizing their money a whole whole lot more than what they were a couple years ago. Uh, Fun Funko Pops, I, I believe, have definitely went down in value um, to the average consumer. So what I have uh, done is basically I don't price check anything anymore. Um, I was going off the Funko Pop price guide trying to f figure out what they are going for on average and it's just it's not accurate. Uh, and that's what I've been trying to tell other people that I, I, I know that collect Funko Pops is that the Funko Pop price guide necessarily isn't what they're really going for. It's kind of, they pull prices from like Walmart and uh, Hobby websites and it's just not, it doesn't really fit well with the resale community. So if I'm going to resell these Funko Pops, I knew I had to give them at a, at a low good uh, pickup price. The most expensive listing that I have up right now is my Vaulted Robocop. I picked this fun of Funko Pop up whenever I was, uh, I think it was about 15 or 16. Um, so it is, uh, you know, really close to 10 years old already. Um, and it is a very highly sought after Funko Pop. Um, I've seen them sell for well over 250 bucks. Um, with that being said, that was a couple years ago when Funko Pops were super, super hot. Uh, right now, it goes for they can go for about 150 in really good con condition. Mine has some flaws. Mine is listed for only like 95 dollars, I believe, maybe a bit more, maybe a little less. Um, that's what I'm just saying. So I'm I'm, I'm trying to give fair prices, um, and if they are uh, clearly a highly sought after Funko Pop, of course they're going to be listed for for more. But most of these I did not price check. I literally threw up there, and most of them range from about 15 to 10 dollars. Um, I have a lot of bundle deals as well on my Mercari site. I have my, uh, these, these four are listed right now. They are, uh, all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I think I have all four of those up for like $45. So I feel like, um, you know, at that rate, you get the full collection and it's, you know, a little bit over $10, $10 a Funko Pop, which is way more than what you would be paying if you bought a bundle deal off of the majority of people. But with that being said, uh, I'll probably go over more of how I list stuff in a future video, but with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into my first sales that I got. I'm going to take you guys on my first journey ever to the post office and dropping these bad boys off. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly. It was about 11 o'clock a couple nights, nights ago, a uh, buyer came uh, over my feed and said they have uh, were interested in my Inquisitor Funko Pop except the shipping was a bit much. The, sh the shipping that I had on this Funko Pop at, at the time was $12.50, um, and that was another learning curve that I had to go go through. Um, these things don't weigh that much. They weigh, I think, I believe it was like uh, was it 12 ounces. It's not It's not much. It's uh, way, way, way under a pound. Um, and I had uh, used the recommended shipping on Mercari. I believe it was glitched out. It said up to five five pounds is what it recommended. So I just went I just went went with it, not even realizing that uh, a up to five pound package isn't super expensive. But you usually have it packed full of stuff, not just one Funko Pop. So that was definitely a bit pricey for my uh, buyer. It's like twelve dollars fifty cents seems a bit off for the shipping just for one one Funko Pop. So I dug deeper. It, it was rated for five or up to five pounds. I was like, there, there ain't no way I'm gonna pack it for up to five pounds. So I edited the listing and got down to one pound, and that dropped the shipping down to I believe like seven seven dollars, which is way way better. With that being said, he, he was happy to see that it was at seven dollars and fifty cents for the shipping, and he picked up himself a very nice Inquisitor Funko Pop. Cool story about this fun Funko Pop. Um, after the pandemic hit and we all got our stimulus checks. Um, I have been married for maybe a month or two. Um, 
uh, we literally got married right before the pandemic like shut down the country which was super super grateful for um we got our stimulus checks in and uh for um a, a wedding gift my wife uh, bought me a custom pc um had me pick out all the parts i wanted um, and i built my custom pc off of the stimulus check that we got uh, with that being said, I built it. It was right after that uh, the first uh, Star Wars game came came out with uh, uh, Cal Kestis, um, and I loved the villain in that game, which was the Inquisitor, the uh, second sister Inquisitor. Um, so I wanted to like name my PC, and build my P PC in theme of this Star Wars villain. Um, it turned out super super nice, um, and. I bought this Funko Pop specifically to place in the case because I put a glass door on the side of the case. She was going to sit inside the case. And there for about a year, she sat inside the case of my PC. I kept the box in great condition. Um, and now, I'm going to pass the love on to my buyer. Um, and I hope he really enjoys this Funko Pop. Next purchase, Cupcake from Five Nights at Freddy's. I got this sale literally maybe five hours ago. Uh, it was super su surprised because i've waited keep in mind i've waited over a month for my first sale for this bad boy in not less than a day not less than 12 hours i get my next sale for cupcake and it was like i was like maybe i've really hit the sweet spot because around this time all of my listings now have come down to around 10 10 bucks a funko pop um i think that was definitely the sweet spot now i will uh, say that this one was not ten dollars i had this one listed at 19 dollars this one is more of a hot item. Um, if some some people might not know, but the Five Nights at Freddy's fan group is one of the biggest fan groups like around right right, right now. I'm personally not a fan of the game. I don't like horror games. That's just me. Um, but I definitely can see the appeal of why people like Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a super challenging game, um, and this is I believe is just one of the characters from that franchise. And I um, I got this actually with a trade um, a few years back. Um, I got this one and several other Funko Pops for, for one of my higher value ones, and I didn't think much of, of, about it. I thought it was just more of a throw-in piece to kind of help sweeten in the deal. Um, I never really knew that this Funko Pop was going for as much as it was, um, but I believe at $19, I gave a very, very fair price for this Funko Pop, and I hope the buyer enjoys this cupcake from Pie Nuts Freddy's. Now that I've showed you guys what I'm selling, I have to pack them. They have to go out to the buyer today, guys. Um, with that being said, I have another really cool tip for you guys that are trying to get into the reselling game and want to save a buck if you guys want to ship out your your items not local pickup but you want to ship because if you if you can if you have the ability to ship out to the world this is a great tip save quite a bit of money um on shipping materials uh what i have went through is the just usps so if i don't know if you guys have known about this um i found this tip out uh, on youtube myself um, but it 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 works. It's it's legit. You can go on USPS's website and purchase all the boxes you want for free, guys. And I mean all of the boxes. I mean all of the boxes you guys could ever want. These boxes range in sizes from small to medium to large. I mean, and it's free, 100%, no charge whatsoever. I believe it's probably have to do with you know if you pay taxes. Of course, it's just it's just a, a, an incentive. Uh, from the post office so um you guys can get as many boxes as you want the catch is it does take a few days to get to your house because they do ship uh with usps they have to receive your order they have to uh you know i guess put the order together and then within five days the boxes will be at your doorstep if you guys want if you guys need boxes faster any usps uh site should have these in their lobby you can literally walk in take what you want and go like it is free of charge um, and that's what i will be shipping these boxes in and the good news is is although it is decorated with usps all over the place i did some more research i have a couple friends that work at a ups store and i asked them if i had a bigger package that i didn't want to go through the united states postal service with because after you get over a pound uh, usps does get Pretty pricey. UPS though stays at around twelve dollars, up to five pounds. Um, so I probably will be going through them for some of my bundle deals. Um, and I asked them, would it be okay if I brought in a USPS box? And they, which 
It, it makes sense. Duh. Yes, they, they will. He actually told me a funny story that a guy came in one time with a prepaid label um, and he packaged his item in a used Sprite box. Yes, like the pop, a Sprite box. Um, there was no problem. They slapped a label on it and they shipped it in the Sprite box. So if you guys have these from the USPS, they will ship out probably from most uh, shipping pro providers. So that's my tip, guys. If you guys need some, if you guys like to save a few bucks on shipping material, I did look up boxes out of curiosity, uh, specifically for Funko Pops, uh, like sizing wise, on Amazon, and they'd go for a pretty hefty price, like pretty crazy for cardboard. So if I can get literally maybe 50 pounds worth of cardboard boxes uh, for zero dollars to me, uh, that's that that's shipped. Zero dollars, no tax great so through UPS I picked up about 50 of these 7x7x6 seven by seven by boxes um, and they're perfect sizes for, for Funko Pops you just slide your Funko Pop in there nice and snug just like that I'm going to wrap these in bubble wrap put some packing paper in the empty spaces there throw them down a business card and call it a day guys that's another thing on the, the to-do list I have not sold anything yet so I had not purchased any packing materials um, to be honest it never really crossed my mind um, until I was like oh I made a sale I probably need some bubble wrap to ship these things so they don't get damaged for my customer um, so we're gonna go to Walmart today before we hit up the post office buy the packing material and package these nice and snug in my vehicle before we go to the post office one more thing about Mercari that makes this super awesome for beginners and I believe e eBay will do this too. I'm not too for, for sure, but I know for a fact that Mercari will help you when it comes to shipping. They, they cut down on the shipping prices for you if you're paying for the shipping or the, or the consumer. They also uh, help you if, you if you're not able to print your label. Most of the items that you ship through USPPS or UPPS can come with a prepaid label. After they purchase the item, the shipping label is sent to you instantly um, and you can either print it off yourself or show up at the uh, shipping office, if it's UPS or USPPS, with the QR code. They'll scan the QR code, they'll print the label for you, put it on, on, on the box, your hands are clean. And it's that is that simple. All right, guys, I got some great news. As I was filming this, another order came through, guys. We got my Ronald Reagan Funko Pop sold for about twenty-five dollars just now. So I've like what I've been saying. I know. I think I've. I believe I've hit the sweet spot when it comes to pricing. I've learned a lot in the last month, um, and it's just funny that the the day that I decide to shoot, I've gotten two orders. Two orders. Uh, for those of you that have made these purchases here, these these three Funko Pops, um, I'm giving you guys a card. This has the hyperlink to my uh, podcast that I run right now. I talk about movies and TV shows if you guys are into that. But more importantly, you follow that link. It'll take you to my reselling YouTube page. And there, I'm. Uh, you guys have made this, this video here. My wife is here, guys. Let's head to Walmart. Got our packages. Let's go out there and meet the wife. Right now, I'm here with my wife, Bree. Uh, she's going to take us to Walmart to get the rest of the packing supplies. Then we're going to head to the post office so we can get these shipped out to the buyers. Um, hopefully, I believe all, all these will be less than 24 hours shipped. So that's uh, that's the goal. All right, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. I got the boxes all second on me. I, so I've, I've done some quick quick math sitting here. I'm going to be bringing home about $44. Um, and to be honest, I don't know the cost. Um, I know what a couple of these I purchased not too long ago, no more than ten dollars each. So, and I'm pretty sure the cupcake one I got in a trade, so I'm not going to add no cost to that one. I think in a, a fair, I guess, in pocket amount that we're we bringing home just on these three Funko Pops is probably going to be twenty dollars. Um, so, with that being said. A $40 haul in pocket, 20 bucks is not bad for three Funko Pops. And once again, I appreciate the three that made this possible. Okay, guys, we just now pulled into Walmart. We're going to go in and get the packing materials um, and uh, get this thing going. I'm excited. All right, so it looks like we're here. <laughs> um, 
I'm thinking just to start off with, this looks like a pretty good deal to me. Do you think 22 yards worth? Packing tape, just like that. Or do you think I should just go ahead and go all out and get the bigger roll for just three more dollars? She's too embarrassed to say anything. She wants the, the bigger roll. So I think we're gonna go out. We're gonna go all out, we're gonna get the bigger roll. I think I should buy more rolls of tape and just come back now. No, we ain't that crazy yet, are we? See, look, they got a couple boxes here, guys. Look at this. Dollar and 98 cents, which is great and all, but like, if you guys follow the tip I gave you, USPS, all the free packing boxes you can want. You could move off USPS for free. <laughs> all, all of the boxes that they need. Well, guys, I'm gonna sit. Let's, let's head back to the car. Got the stuff in the back ready to go. Now we're heading to the post office um, to get it all nice and packed up. Uh, and get it sent out to the buyer. Change of plans. We just went to the post office that was inside of the gas station. It was kind of weird. Um, they have a big, ginormous USPS sign on the uh, face of the building. We get up there, and uh, the guy that worked there at the gas station said they just literally just took out the post office out of their store. So now we're rerouting to uh, our town of Ashland to the big post office. Um, good news is they close at 5, which is currently 4 now, so we will uh, have plenty of time to uh, uh, get there and get our packages sent. That one, it was closing right at 4. I had like 5 minutes left, so I was rushing to get those packages in, but I guess all in all, it worked out. I'm hoping uh, this one's supposed to be a bigger one, um, too, so I'm, I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll be able to help me out uh, very, very well there, so. Shout out to my wife, she just got off work and uh, she's doing this for, for me, so. <clears throat> just shipped out the first batch of orders, guys. Once again, thank you guys so much for your guys' uh, support. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure you guys like and sub subscribe, of course. Um, let me know what you guys want to see from me, if it's uh, tips on how I list or in, in detail how I package the items. Um, it's just, it's, this is a fun, fun experience. I can't wait to build this, come this community up uh, with like-minded resellers, guys, and just help each other out. Um, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, all links in the description to all, all of my socials and my Mercari store. See you guys.